All right, so I just had a passenger. Picked her up way up in the Hollywood Hills just off Mulholland Drive. Really upscale neighborhood, very upscale neighborhood. She needed to get to the airport. She was in a hurry. Now, if you are in a hurry and you get in an Uber, please don't tell that Uber driver, well, I'm in a hurry more than once. And never say it with the expectation that the driver is going to somehow uh, give an indication that he can wave a magic wand and suddenly speed you through traffic or over traffic or under traffic or around it in some magical way that will afford you the lost time that you are wholly responsible for losing by getting an Uber 90 minutes before a flight. That's right. She was about 90 minutes away from boarding a plane with an hour of traffic. May as well call it an ocean of traffic. You know, that's not cool. That burden that you have on your shoulders, for whatever reason, does not need to be transferred to the shoulder of anybody else. Do not compel another individual to violate his conscience. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, the lady asked me more than once to speed. She literally said, do you mind driving faster? First time, you know, I try to be gracious and say, look, um... You're getting into the area of uh, violating another person's conscience, and um, I'm afraid I'm going to have to uh, decline that request. Something along those lines. And that wasn't the precise wording, but that was essentially what I said. I didn't raise my voice. I didn't, you know, express outright um, frustration, even though it was building. Um, but I did tell her, look, uh, yeah, you can't ask me to do that. That's not acceptable. That's not appropriate. Uh, then she asked again, <laughs> and at that point, I just looked and kind of smirked to myself, like, I can't believe you're pressing this point. You're late because of you, not because of even the LA traffic. And you're definitely not late because of any, um, slow or inefficient driving on my part. In fact, I tried to assure her by telling her, look, I'm an efficient driver. I will comply with the posted speed limits with the traffic laws. Um, but I will do my best and you will be hard pressed to find someone who will get you to the airport more efficiently than I will today. Didn't say it quite to that length of words, but I did. That's basically what I told her. Now, here's a note for you who are watching this video. Please don't compel someone to violate his conscience by any means whatsoever. If you're late, you're late. Even if it's a close friend. You know, I used to live with somebody who, uh, you know, for whom late was just a major and predominant attribute. And I'm going to tell you something. That's a pain in the butt. But you deal with it when you uh, are close to someone and share living quarters with that person. You know, you deal with the person's failings just as he or she deals with yours. And, you know, that's life on planet Earth. But I tell you what. You can't ask a person, even someone that close to you, you can't compel or insist or uh, lean on that person to um, violate his or her conscience in order to accommodate your failings, even if it is a momentary and temporary failing. Just be an adult about it and say, hey, you know what? I'm in a spot. I'm in a pickle, as they say, or they used to say. I'm in a tight situation. I realize it's not your responsibility to help me out of it, but I'd appreciate whatever you can do to help and make it better or make it easier. You know, that's the kind of thing you do. She went past that point, uh, one or two additional notches, and I was not in inclined to accommodate it. I mean, I did what I always do for every passenger, whether it's rush hour or whether the person's rushing or not. I just did the best I could behind the wheel because I do what I do pretty well. I don't love doing it, but I do it well. Anyways, just a little rant <laughs> from the Uber for the Uber archives. Just a little rant for the Uber archives. Don't know how long this, how big this archive is going to be, but I got some for it.